All right, so um, we got some bones and stuff. We got a skull. Whoa, that's a big cave. That looks scary. I wonder what's going to be down there after we kill this scorpion. Sorry, little buddy. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman bringing you an episode of Mechanic Miner. This is an alpha version of a game that's coming out in 2018, and I thought you guys might be interested in it. It's basically a 2D construction survival game that has like a steampunk theme to it. So I figured it might fit a lot of what we've seen on the channel, except for the 2D element is a little bit different, but um, it seems like it'll be kind of fun to play. So our goal is to kind of gather resources, kill monsters, acquire new technologies, and build crazy mechanical devices to overcome obstacles in our way. So I did a little bit of the tutorial just so I understood a little bit what was happening. It's actually kind of complex. So we're going to start a brand new game here. We're going to skip the tutorial and just get straight into the story. We're going to start game. So here we have our basic tutorial introductory craft here. So what this involves was putting an engine attached to a boiler, which is where we get our energy from. So I'm not completely well versed in the building mechanics yet, but from what I gathered is you have to put things next to each other that need to actually interact with each other. So for instance, this engine powers the wheels, but the engine takes power from the boiler, which creates the steam for the engine. Then this lever activates the engine with this connector right here. And if I go left, it rotates all these this way. If I go right, it rotates all of these this way. These connectors connect the engine to the wheel. And then over here, we have a ballista and we can shoot things with the ballista. And we actually do have enemies to, uh, to defend ourselves against. And we might encounter some up here. So down here, we have our inventory. We have some resources and it's very, very limited. These are the only slots we have. And if any, if these are all full, then we cannot hold any more resources so we have to kind of like sacrifice things in order to uh figure out what we're going to build because if we build something it also takes up an inventory slot until we use it on our machine here so uh let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to do here i think i think we can mine some of this stuff i think we need some of this this is um what is it called bacalite and we can use Bacolite to make some things. But we have this little beam here, and this beam is actually pretty cool. Not only does it harvest things, like I think we can probably, what is it called, excavate? We can probably excavate wood from this tree here. Yet we're getting some wood down on the bottom left. Actually, let's get a little bit more wood. There we go. And there's some bees nests here. We don't want to we don't want to anger the bees just yet. We have our health up here. We even have experience on a leveling system. And I'm not sure what the leveling system does yet. I know it gets us like some tech points. But I don't know how that stuff works just yet. But now we got some extra wood. And with wood, we can build planks. And with planks, we can expand our vehicle here. So in just a moment, we're going to uh, probably travel down into the earth. Our goal is to get to the core, to reach the core of the earth for whatever reason. And oh, I forgot. I also have a gravity beam. So look, I can actually like grab my vehicle here and move it around. I forgot about that. Now let's hopefully we can grab it and turn it over. There we go. But what I wanted to do was actually um, harvest some of this water here because we need water for our steam engine. All right, so now I got some water. We can power the steam engine with water and wood. So now we have full power or full fuel rather. And we can continue on our way. All right, so this basic vehicle works pretty well. There's a lot of things that I am uncertain of what exactly they do yet. We have some weapons that I haven't seen. Well, like a, Oh, spike. Oh, spikes might be good. Because then we can actually run into en enemies, I'm assuming. And we can actually build some spikes. Hmm, maybe we should make some spikes. You know what, let's do that really quick so we can show you some of the building mechanics. And hopefully I even know what I'm doing here. But what we should be able to do is we need some structures. And I think we should be able to... I'm just going to build 20 planks. And we should be able to, once that's finished building, we can expand our craft... Oh, I have to not be in the seat. We can expand our craft over here. I'm just going to go right in front of the wheels like this. There we go. And now let's see if I build, what was it? Structure to weapons. If I build some spikes, one, two, three, or two. I, oh, I can only build two. I don't have enough zinc. Don't worry. We get zinc down in the mines over here. All right, but now let's experiment. We get the spike. Okay, Z is to rotate. There we go. Yes. So now I can actually put spikes just like that. All right, we've made our first building modification to our vehicle. Oh, I almost thought it was going to be too low, but I think that's almost perfect, except 
for the fact that I will no longer be able to go up a lip, I don't think. Hold on, let's do an experiment here. We might have to delete this. So I wanna go down, I wanna see if I can get up here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, oh, yep, that's a problem. That is a problem. You know what else we need to do though? We need to make it all wheel drive because otherwise we're gonna be stuck here as well. So now to make it all near all wheel drive, we have circuits and one of our circuits is a belt. And this uses a little bit of copper. It's a looped band that can be used to transfer rotation. All right, so now we should have all wheel drive. I'm pretty sure. However, we still cannot get up here, which is a problem. And I don't know if there's anything we can do about that. We kind of need our wheels. Oh, I think I just remembered. I think I could technically drive over them without colliding. So what I might be able to do while still protecting my wheels is if I just delete this here and if I make spikes underneath, I might be able to actually hit things if I just drive over them. I don't know. It might be kind of risky, but we're going to try it. But now we should be able to drive up this hill. And I think if we drive over a creature, those spikes should hit it. I don't know. We're going to find out once we get into the cave up here when we face our first enemies. All right, here we go. We are going down into the mine or whatever this is. Yeah, it's a mine, I guess. Ooh, some more zinc. We need zinc for spikes. Oh, there's a bat. All right, we cannot spike the bat. So we're going to have to go here and... Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Come on, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. There we go. And now we got some experience. We're almost at level one. We got some music now, some mine trolling music. All right, so now we're just going to harvest some materials up here so we can build some more weapons and stuff. All right, and we go down deeper into the earth. All right, so now, all right, we're uh, finding more precious metals further down. All right, so we need to search deeper for precious metal ore. Now it's getting dark down here, so we have to build a light. And I experimented with this a little bit. It was a little bit difficult to figure out, but what I need to do is craft a control. This is a switch. So in order for this, I need zinc and copper. We have that. And now I got to put the switch on my vehicle. And now I need to build a light. We need iron. Oh, I think there's some iron in here, actually. See so here, let's go forward. Is that iron? I don't think that's iron. I think that's more... Oh, it is. It is. That's iron. So now I think we have just enough to build a lamp. And now if we just put the lamp on top of the switch, there we go. Now you see the lamp is connected with the switch there. So now if I just press that, look at that. We have light. So on, off, on, off. All right, we have the beginnings of a mining vehicle, a cave mining vehicle. All right, we need more iron here. I cannot reach that iron, unfortunately, up there. All right, no worries. We're just going to keep going. Ah, we got a bat following us. We got another bat following us. Here. Uh, oh, no, I didn't mean to hit that. I did not mean to hit that. Ugh. I turned the light off accidentally. All right, so we just leveled up, and it says tech available. So now this is what I'm unsure what it means. Does that mean that this is what's available because it's a blue? Cost levels one. Okay. So this unlocks air pump and air tether. Why? So if I click on it, oh, did I just get it? Pumps air via connected air hoses to nearby air tethers. What do we need that for? Air tether, a fastening point that connects air hoses and vents air. A health generator, a device to generate health using protein. Is protein, protein gives us health? A door? We can use enclosed vehicles? A flux capacitor? can be fueled with stored flux. What do we, what, what, what is all this stuff? A slide lets two machine parts move in relation to each other along a single axis. This is interesting. All right, there's a lot more to this game than I had previously expected. This is a hopper. It can be used to take out or put in resources in an inventory. So is this like a storage thing? Storage would be extremely useful. All right, well, I'll figure that out later. Uh, for now, let's just continue gathering some resources for the stuff that we need to build and continue down further towards the core. We need to research or search deeper for precious metal ore. So I wonder which metal ore we're talking about here. All right, so um, it looks like there's a door there, but there's also some mining stuff over here. I wonder how far this goes. Sometimes there's multiple ways down. Oh, oh, let's go ahead and destroy this bat here. There we go. Wait, we leveled up again? I thought we are- Oh, we spent the level. That's what leveling up is. You actually spend your levels to unlock new technology. Okay. I didn't realize that until just now. Oh, and there's another doorway over here. So there's multiple ways to go. Whoops, I turned my light off. My bad. All right, so let's go down this one since this is like the farther doorway. Maybe it'll get us some more progress. But there's all of this iron. Look at all of this iron. I just want to mine it all. All right, I think that's enough iron for now. We get 50. That's half of that slot full. 
So let's go ahead and head down deeper. There's gonna be more precious metals for the further down we go. Uh-oh. I found rich deposits of manganese. However, to get to them, I must construct a ventilation system to protect me from the air. Wait, wait, wait. How do I... Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, do I actually have to construct a vent... Like a static ventilation system that's not part of my vehicle? This is interesting. So that thing that I just unlocked was the air pressure thing. So I need to hook up a boiler to an engine to a ventilation system to vents. All right, I hope I have enough materials to do this. Let's see what we need to do here. And I think this must be the gas right here. All right, so we need an, a boiler. We can build a boiler. Let's go ahead and put it right here on the ground. We need to fill it up with some water and some wood. All right, now we need an engine. All right, we go ahead and attach this engine to the boiler. Are they attached to each other? You know what, maybe I need to create, I might need to create a platform. Hold on a second here. That might be what keeps everything connected to each other. So let's go ahead and uh, let's build some structures. We're gonna get some planks here. I'm gonna build a bunch of planks. All right, so we're gonna put the boiler right there and now we should be able to connect the engine to the boiler. All right, so now, yes, now they are connected. Okay, so that worked. And now we need the machinery. We need the air pump. I'm glad that we have the materials for this stuff. There we go. They're already connected, so that's good. And now with the air pump, that needs to be connected to some vents. So let's go ahead and extend. Oh, we need some, some planks. So now we're just gonna extend this out a little bit more. So let's look at this thing again. All right, looks like we need to just attach the ventilation system to like two air vents. So where are our vents? Machinery, here we go, air tether. All right, so now if I just put these one there and one there, it looks like they're already attached. So now we just need an input. So let's create a switch, attach the switch to the engine. And now if we use it. Oh, look at that. We just vented out this whole area. Oh, but it only works on a certain radius. So we actually kind of want this whole structure. Can I fuse it? I think there was a control here. Let's go into the controls here. Okay, so shift plus press and hold that to dislodge or fuse objects. All right, I'm gonna try something kind of ridiculous here. I'm gonna try to merge this with this. I think I should actually be able to do it, but I need to build a little bit. All right, so we're just gonna go out a little bit this way. Now we're gonna go up like that. And now I'm hoping that, that I could just shift click here and merge it right there. No way! We just totally did that! Now we have a mobile ventilation system. Look at this thing! Now the question is, can I shoot through? I can, I can shoot through the wall. Okay, this is awesome. This just got so awesome. Okay, what is this? Is this a manganese? All right, we got the precious metal. Mission accomplished. Oh, there's an enemy. We have an enemy over here. Now we can test out the spikes. Let's see if this actually works. I'm a little bit worried about this. So these spikes should be able to ram those things. Nope, nope, that's not how it works. We're stuck on it. We're stuck on it. This is bad. This is not how the spike works. How, where did this one come from? Let's just run them all over. Let's just run them all over. I don't think this is not doing any damage. We're stuck. Okay, hold on a sec. Oh no, they damaged me. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Reload, reload. These things are terrible. All right, we have no more wheels. This is, oh, we just leveled up though. So we have some more tech available. Okay, but now we need, we need to get our wheels back. All right, so hold on. So for this, we need planks. There we go. Uh, we need some planks. There we go. Is that even? All right, now we need to build our wheels back. Let's go with something a little bit better. We're gonna use some steel wheels here, or iron wheels rather. And now we should just be able to go one, th oh, these are really big, holy cow. I don't even think I can jump up on my craft anymore, can I? I can, oh, I can kind of do it. All right, and are they hooked up? I don't think they're hooked up. Okay, so we have to hook up the wheels again. All right, now does that work? Now we have some motion there. All right, now I think we actually have four wheel drive, or not four wheel drive, but two wheel drive since we're in two dimensions right now. All right, oh, you can see the damage. Look at the damage that they did here. That's interesting. All right, well, let's keep going. All right, we have some more enemies. So let's go ahead and uh, get ahead of them. No, 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 don't damage me. Don't damage me. All right, I should be more resilient now, though. All right, let's mine some more of this, some more of this manganese. I don't know what it's actually used to build yet, but apparently it's precious metal. We had to create an entire ventilation system 
just to be able to access it. So let's go ahead and kill these things again before they do too much more damage to me. Come on. Come on. This thing, we need better weapons. I don't think we have blueprints for better weapons just yet. All right, but we are getting experience. So that's good. Let's go to our weapons. Oh, we do. A bomb and a rail gun continuously shoots aimed stone pellets. You know, we're, this is a little bit too complicated because we need to have a control system for it as well. So I'm just going to uh, turn it off for now. I don't know how to use it just yet. So let's go ahead and mine some of this precious metal some more before we uh, figure out what that how that works. All right, got to kill some enemies here too. Oh, no, they really? They killed my wheel? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? These things are stronger than they look. Or maybe the wheels are weaker than they look. All right, no, I'm not going to let you. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. These things, we need some more protection. Do we have armor? Is armor a thing that we can have? What about tech? All right, let's research some tech. What do we got? We got boat tech, mid-tier storage. Ooh, storage is good. Storage is good. Or airship tech. Let's go with storage. Accessories? Ah, there we go. Oh, we did have storage. It's under accessories. A bed, a sofa. What well, we can have like all kinds of stuff. Well, can we put storage right now? Can we just put it on top of the air vents? There we go. Now we got storage. So, so now let's see if I can I just put like my planks in storage. I don't know how to use the storage. Oh, we got an enemy coming. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop it. There we go. And now we can put store stuff inside of it. Oh, this is so much more useful. Okay, excellent. So now we have to rebuild our vehicle, however. So let's go ahead and recycle some of this material here. This is actually a really interesting, like, trying to manage our vehicle while it's getting destroyed by things. Now we can build some belts again. I think I need four. Sturdier than a plank. These plates are sturdier than planks. So I'm wondering if it's worth having some planks. Okay, so I'm gonna build a couple of these, uh, these new plates. Let's build 20 of them. And we're gonna use this to try to armor ourselves up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put Put a bunch of it right there. Oh! We're enclosed now. Interesting. So now, do I need a door to get out of here? Oh, wait. Does that mean that this thing can no longer shoot outside? Let's see. Okay, it still can. That's good. But now let's see. Where's our door at? Can be open for enclosed vehicles. Okay, let's put a door. Uh, how does the door work? I think we might actually need to create a space for it. So here, I'm gonna... Delete that wall there, and now I'm going to put a door there and see if that works. All right, there we go. And now, if we use our planks, we should be able to fill in this gap there. And now we can go in and out of our vehicle, except for the fact that we kind of can't. All right, yeah, we can. We good. All right, good. So now we're enclosed. We are enclosed, and we are good to go. Should I keep, should I keep mining this manganese? I mean, I guess I should. This is like... We, 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 we did a lot of work to get here. So I'm going to go ahead and keep mining some of this. I mean, we got a full-on ventilation system on the roof of our vehicle and everything. All right, how much farther... Is this all? Is there nowhere else to go from here? All right, this is interesting. Maybe there's somewhere in the other direction that we can go. Oh, no, 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 kill him, kill him. Oh, no, they're destroying our vehicle. They just destroyed our door. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Don't destroy my, don't destroy my ballista. Oh man, they destroyed our door that we just spent all that time building. All right, how do we repair? Can we repair? All right, I think we're pretty well repaired. Um, our door is missing, but you know what? I'm just going to leave the door alone for now because it didn't last very long against those enemies. I'm curious if there's a way to defend a little bit better against some of those enemies. All right, we got some more manganese here. Was it manganese? Yeah, manganese. Now, the question is, can we go deeper if we continue on this path? And we're running out of water, which is not good for our steam power here. All right, we got some more enemies up here. I'm going to see if I can snipe. Did I get them? I don't know if I got them. All right, I definitely got them now. Yeah, there we go. We just got them. Okay. Long range sniping with the ballista. Oh, no, 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 no. You get away. Why are they so hard? Like, you can't, you can't not get damaged by them. And I think that's all that's down here, is just that. We can uh, go ahead and head back now. Well, I'm going to get a little bit more manganese, since we're probably not going to be back down here. But we're starting to run... Well, we're not running low on fuel, but we're running out of fuel. And I don't have a lot left, so I don't want to I don't want to uh, take my risks here. I don't want to be too risky about it and take my time down here. Alright, let's go ahead and go back up. 
And now I think this was the second door that we went through. So I think there should be another door over there. But do we need any of this stuff? We don't have a lot of zinc. So maybe we should take some of that zinc. Or maybe let's just go down here. We haven't gone down here. Let's just go down. There maybe, maybe there's more zinc. Oh no, there's more gas. Which means there's more manganese. Yes, more manganese. Not that we need that much more, but hey. Oh no, no, no. We got a bat coming towards us. And then we got this thing coming towards us. Mm. Oh no, 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 no. I, is there a way to make my ballista stronger? I really wish there was. Also, is there a way to make other resources? Like if we could make some water... Because there's no way we're getting water down here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, those things stress me out after I see what they've done to my vehicle in the past. Oh, no, there's another one. Mm. Oh, yes, he can't reach me. All right, so we just have to do the long range. We have to focus on long range. Oh, wait, and can I get protein from these guys? All right, we need a health generator. So I'm going to go ahead and build this health generator. I don't know how to use it, but apparently... Something to do with protein. So if I put protein in it, I have one protein here. Uh, how does it work? Use. Oh, there we go. We just got a heart from the protein. All right. Excellent. Look at that. We're getting our health back. Okay, now I know how to generate health. That's interesting. We have no more protein left, though. Whoops. There goes the light. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of really interesting mechanics in this. So protein we get from killing enemies, and we have to harvest their bodies for protein, which we put into the health generator, and that gives us health. All right, good to know. All right, let's go ahead and go further. Is there anywhere else to go? Are these just pockets of manganese? Is that all this stuff is? It must be. Like, I don't know how much I'm gonna need. I don't wanna, like, overstock my inventory with manganese, though. You can only carry 101 slot. Okay, 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 stop, 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 stop. Let's get this thing. We're gonna get the protein from him so we can heal ourselves again. All right, so there's his, there's his remains. Oh, there's another one up there, too. So let's go ahead and collect his remains. All right, we got the protein. Let's get ready to get some more. No, no, no. Stop hitting my vehicle. Thank you. All right. Got the long range going on here. Now we need to go to our control and harvest some more protein. And manganese while we're at it. So this is actually pretty cool. I'm starting to like this. Now let's go ahead and fuel our health generator with some protein. As we defend ourselves against this pesky thing. I don't even know what are these things. They look like something from Futurama. Alright. I think we're making some decent progress. We're going to see if there's anything at the other end of this cave. There's prob- Oh, there's a lot more enemies apparently. This actually might make things a little bit tough if they gang up on me here. Come on, come on, come on. He's going to destroy- Oh, no, 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 no. Man, these things are so strong. Even through the plate. They're getting through the plate. Man, this is tough. Alright, let's go ahead and harvest this protein. Eh, I can't. All right, what if I just go... Oh, no, that's not even attached. All right, we're gonna need we're gonna need to do some some finagling here. Let's go ahead and put this wheel back on. There we go. Oh, no, here comes another one. Quick, I turned my light off. Zoom out. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Oh. All right, we've recovered from that trauma. And now we are ready to see if there's anything else over here. Probably not. Okay, so we can't go down anymore. So we might not even be in the right area of the of the map we might have to go back up to the surface find a new cave to go into because our goal our main goal is to reach the core but there's nowhere else for us to go down as far as i remember so i think we just got to go back up right here all right there we go now we're back up at the surface let's continue on our way we'll find one more cave and see what happens oh boy oh no oh that's not good okay uh i can i can deal with this i can i can deal with this if we just uh Come on, just use your gravity gun, flip yourself over. There we go. Whew. I didn't know if that was going to be like a traumatic thing or not, if we were going to be able to recover from that. All right, let's go ahead and harvest this bone here. All right, so um, we got some bones and stuff. We got a skull. Whoa, that's a big cave. That looks scary. I wonder what's going to be down there after we kill this scorpion. Sorry, little buddy. Oh, I don't know why I have the ventilation system going anymore. That's just wasting resources. So I got to turn that off. And also our light we don't need anymore. Right, I'm going to harvest some of these bones here. All right, now let's take a peek inside of this cave. Let's see if this is any different. What? 
The fierce small critters I encountered excreted a green glowing substance. However, in the sand caves, I also found remnants of a much bigger excretions. There had to be bigger specimens somewhere deeper down. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about this. Is this rock? We needed rock, right? Is this rock? We need a rock as ammo. Yeah, I think this is rock. Okay, so rock provides ammo for that rail gun. There's like mushrooms and stuff. There's water. We need some water. Actually, we need a lot of water. Let's go ahead and harvest some of this water, too. There we go. All right, that's good. We have some more water. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, we're getting attacked by a bat. This isn't good. This isn't good. I don't have my weapon. I don't have my weapon. Get the water. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back. The little bat's chasing me. The little bat's chasing me. Come on. Oh, it stopped chasing me. Yeah, it's because he knows who's boss. All right. All right, let's go chase that bat down. Where are you, bat? There you go. I see you. You're right there. You're right there. Come on. Come out. Come out. There you are. Ready? Uh. That's what I'm talking about. That's what you get for chasing down Mr. Scrapman. All right. Well, I'm glad we got some water. It makes me feel a little bit safer now, just in case we encounter some more gas deeper in this cave. Now, unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to actually save. Oh, that is a lot. That is a lot of rock here. I don't think there's a way for me to actually save. So I think if I die, if I lose all my progress, then I think that is... uh. That's just something I gotta deal with. I have to rebuild and gather resources from scratch if everything gets destroyed. So that kind of makes this a little bit nerve-wracking, thinking that I'm gonna be encountering some big uh, creatures coming soon. Oh no, we got some- No, get away from me. There we go. Give me your protein. I grow stronger with every kill. All right, here we go. We're about to go down. Just a little bit deeper. Are we going to encounter these bigger creatures? A little bit nervous. Here, let's turn our light on. Get a little bit of light in here. All right, this is not the way to go. We got to go left, apparently. All right, we got a lot of bats here. We got a lot of bats coming around and coming out of the walls. Oh, we got a bigger scorpion. This thing is hitting me. It's hitting me. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, bats too. All right, we got some more protein. Oh, whoa, that's a bigger bat. That's okay. Good. One shot kill. That's good. I can deal with one shot kill enemies. Oh, that was nervous, though. All right, I'm starting to see the bigger creatures now. I'm gonna... Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Get... Oh, I turned my light off. Turn the light back on, please. No, light back on. Get in the thing. Ugh. I mean, these don't seem nearly as dangerous as the things that actually shoot at me, but hey, it's something. All right, you know, I kind of like want to ignore them and just go further. Yeah, let's just go further. We're just going to go down. We're going to ignore the bats. All right, now I feel like I should start getting nervous. I'm going to keep going this way. We got some scorpions. We got some bats. All right, I'm just, I'm just ignoring everything. Oh, we're, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Now I'm getting overwhelmed. Oh, oh no, oh no, they're hurting me. I got one right behind me hurting me. Oh no, my health is actually kind of low. That's good. I have a health generator. We're gonna be okay. Let's go up and use the health generator. There we go. Come on, come on. Give me your precious health. There we go. There we go. All right. So this is cool. We, we, we kill things to get experience. We use our experience to unlock tech. And we use that tech to help ourselves on our journey. All right, so now I'm learning that we should probably battle enemies as we discover them instead of uh, letting them all gang up on us. Oh, oh no, that scorpion's shooting at me. Get out of here. Get out of here, scorpions. You have... What gives you the right? Just because I'm invading your land... Oh no, we're out of wood for the ballista. No, come on, get the wood. Put it in the ballista. Kill the thing. Ugh. Oh. We have to manage a lot of things here. I mean, not a lot yet, but it's a lot compared to what we have been managing. All right, we have more bats. We got more stuff to kill. All right, come on. Give me your protein. All right, this is a little bit stressful. Just a little bit stressful. I can't imagine what it gets on later in the game. So if you guys are enjoying this, you're going to have to let me know if you want to see more. If you want to see me go deeper and deeper into the core and find bigger and more dangerous creatures and probably even crazier technology. Oh, really? Really, Scorpion? You're gonna, you're gonna interrupt me during my epic, uh, my epic trailer pitch to the next episode? You know what? Give me a protein. Thank you. I'm gonna put you in my health machine. All right, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna not follow my own advice. I'm just gonna rush to the other side and see what's over here. Oh boy, a lot of bats. A lot of bats again. There has to be another way down. There better be another way down. Please let there be another way down. Otherwise, I might be, uh-oh, I might be trapped. I might be trapped. Here, get the bats. Get the bats. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> Don't you dare destroy my ballista. If you destroy my ballista. All right, repair. I gotta re... Why won't it let me repair? 
Repair my ballista. Thank you. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good for repairs. Okay. Oh, we got a scorpion. No, 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 no. All right, so I think that's all that's down here. We just had bigger bats. It wasn't like a too, too scary of a cave. So I think I'm going to call the episode here and let me know what you guys think about this game. Do you want to see me build bigger things, better things, explore deeper caves, destroy bigger and better enemies? Um, if you guys want to see another episode, then we can definitely do that on the channel. Otherwise, this is a first look at it. It's called Mechanic Miner. I'll leave a link to the Steam page in the description. Thanks to the developers for sending a key my way to check it out. It's been fun. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.